The cameras are fixed to one man in terrific form and top scorer in the competition. Stay with us on EA TV as he tries for more. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is the playoff semi-final second leg coming right up. It's FC Goa versus Kerala Blasters. Well, thanks, Derek. What a match this promises to be. These two teams have performed consistently throughout the season and deserve to be here, and they're just 90 minutes away from a place in the final. What more motivation do they need? It should be good. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to score another goal today because he's got four in the last three games. He's a player full of confidence, and every time he makes a forward run, he looks as though he's going to get in behind. He is in outstanding form at the moment. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. And so the match is underway. cross was more than acceptable but they couldn't fire at home Alvaro and Fernandez it's with Rodriguez oh great vision nicely timed tackle Intense pressure. Possession given away, unfortunately. And the keeper there to deal with it. Can someone get on the end of this? Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Ball's gone. It's with Rodriguez. And winning it back. Same story, couldn't hang on to the ball. Careless in possession. Shetri. 
You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the referee not messing about. He's cautioned him. Well, it had to be a yellow card, and he knew it was coming. Well, that didn't go exactly to plan, and no wonder he's getting a few icy stares from his teammates. Yeah, that's a complete waste. He was never going to score from there. It's with Rodriguez. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw in. And this time it's Miranda. there to intercept can they hit on the break oh lovely ball and successfully cut out so a throw in here Well, the pass not finding its target. And he might be through here. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, some referees might have reached for the yellow card, but not this one. Yeah, another foul, and he will get a yellow card, that's for sure. Free kick, fired too close to the goalkeeper. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. And the right place to cut out the pass. He's got to have a go here. Well, the keeper made the save pretty easily in the end. It's with Rodriguez. Chetri and Fernandez and back now with Pereira and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end and he takes it away Janu. Well, 
we're into the final half hour. Ali. Shetri. It's a weighted pass. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And a substitution in the offing. Shetri. Offside, a tight one. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Good ball to switch the play. Fed over towards the back post. And he did what he had to do defensively. This might be ideal for the counter. And back now with Pereira. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. It's with Pereira. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. This is looking threatening. Can he finish? And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. One nil then. And back now with Pereira. And unable to keep possession. Oh, he's through here. And that is defending of the highest order. And this time it's Miranda. The delivery towards the back post. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And the volley is struck so cleanly, which shows just how good his technique is. That's a top-class finish. So the ball rolling again at 2 0. And we've entered the final five minutes. It is a decent looking attack here. Must be missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball.
they do like to press whenever they can the tackle completely mistimed and you would expect a booking under the circumstances well the referee not messing about he's cautioned him well it had to be a yellow card and he knew it was coming Three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Oh, in with a chance. Just couldn't get it through. Who can he pick out? And a struggle to get it away properly. The referee's whistle and a real treat in store for the travelling fans because they can now get ready for the final. Well, what a good win that was over the two games. Their attacking play has been brilliant. If they can repeat that in the final, they have every chance of lifting the trophy. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.